Well, you're proving all the data is wrong, and hopefully these guys can too. I think so. Without further ado, we don't have to stall too much longer. I think we've gotten all the homework out of the way. So our first match will be Amaz versus Raynad. And uh, I guess we're going to be able to go into the, the draft picks as soon as we can. I yeah. think we're going to start things off with Amaz's how well, draft. How well do you know uh, Arena? Do you participate much in it, Fred? Yeah, so I've, I've played... Well, I mean, Arena was how I first got my cards in the first place, right? Like, I, I bought a few packs, but uh, Arena was oh, definitely Priest. what I did. Priest. Oh, okay, so we have the first three selections. Amaz... So he has to choose one of these three classes and then stick with it. And, yeah. uh, I mean, Paladin is a really, really strong class, so is Druid, but Amaz is known for playing Priest. I don't suggest picking Priest, though, and he doesn't. He goes for Paladin. Priest, priest is pretty strong. Um, the idea is that they're playing for money, so the tier list is Mage is far above anyone else. And then you yes. have, like, Druid, Paladin, Shaman, Rogue Ball that are kind of card-based. Like, if you get really good cards, you can dominate. If you don't, you're going to get destroyed. But this is a pretty good first card. I love mind control tech. Yeah, that's a and card that a card uh, you always have to kind of play around. around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, second pick, Defender of Argus is one of the best rares, I think, in Arena because it just fits yep. the mid-game control tempo so well. The other two cards are just kind of weird and niche, in my opinion. Ra Ravenhold can be okay in the type of deck where you burn someone down, but two cards in, you're just picking the best of the three by itself, and it is a very obvious decision, of course. Yeah, and you know the Corsair is not something compared to like the Ooze. It just feels like you're gonna have opportunities. A really quick He's Mad fine. Bomber pick, and there's That's the other good. Ooze as well. Yep, Ooze beats the other two for sure. But again, you know some of these players may not be too used to Arena. And one thing I was thinking about because it is, it is a double elimination. But because of the structure, most players are only gonna play each other once. The surprise factor. I think playing aggro, maybe playing some non-typical. Uh, you know, form when the game is actually going down may actually be a huge advantage. Yeah, so uh, Maz is picking some pretty strong mid-range game cards. Uh, Blessing of Kings is just one of the staple cards for Paladin in Arena. Uh, it, in fact, the four slot in general, just because you have True Silvers, you have the Hammer of Wrath, the Consecrations, so you have to be kind of careful not to pick too many fours. As much as it's cool to pick, like, the Brewmaster, it's almost a guaranteed thing that Paladin's going to have overloaded yeah. on fours. I've drafted like four kings before and it's a little too much. Uh, kings is good, but the third one is questionable in my opinion. And after that, you just don't want to pick it because you end up just with a handful of kings and you end up, uh, you know, recruit kings in the recruit because you have nothing else to play. And in Arena, people certainly do pick silence. That was a hard pick because obviously Ancient Mage isn't really that great, but, you know, Blessed Champion is just way too costly, so I guess Divine Favor, but how often are you going to be able to apply it if you yeah. have a mid-range Paladin deck? It can be okay. It's mostly insurance against like a sprint or something like that, because as a Paladin you're going for value. Mm -hmm. Cool. Here I think I picked the Bomber. Well, it goes with the Amani. Consecrate, easy one. And again, Raid Leader is not a bad card in Paladin, uh, but yeah, obviously by itself it's a terrible card. Mm. Ah, Twilight Drake as well, but again, it's starting to get pretty heavy on the fours, and you kind of wanted a little bit of late game. Cards like Stormwind Champion is actually really good in the Paladin <laughs> Arena yeah. as well. Pick the second Consecrate. He, he is pretty four stacked, but I mean, this is a very common Arena oh. deck. Wind Silver Champion selection right there. Mm -hmm. Look at that mana curve, though, Crypt. This four is sticking out so much higher above everything Looks else. Looks fine. Looks like a good deck. <laughs> Wolfrider like is the correct pick, pick there. Um, the 1-1 one -one recruit is often a decent play by itself on two. Uh, Argent Protector is an alright card. Uh, it's really good if you have board control. And I think, even though it looks like a lot of fours, having, like, you know... Pretty much all your cards between 2, 3, and 4 is actually considered a pretty fast deck in Arena. In Constructed, you know, you have like a bunch of 1s and 2s like the Zulok, but that's not exactly the case in Arena. In Arena, this is still a pretty fast deck right now. So in the last few cards here, I mean, should Amaz even try padding the late game if he gets any opportunity, or is he just going to just go straight up for the early game creature? Like if the last couple of cards he has, he needs to kind of pick something to round out his curve, don't you think? I mean, it depends on... Oh, he doesn't like these selections. Uh, <laughs> enough, Hand, Hand of Protection I mean, is a good card. Uh, I yeah, think it's fine. It's, it's wow. a pretty big tempo play. 
Yeah. Another Argus. Yeah. I think Another his deck is, is quite good. good. Uh, in general, when you're um, when you're considering the type of deck, in Arena you play against just exclusively mages uh, when you're at like six wins plus. And any deck that's considered fast is one that every card in the deck dies to flame strike. And Amaz has exactly that. So if he's yeah. running into flame strike, uh, he's gonna feel the uh, arena woes pretty soon. Not to mention, and, the and you better believe if Mage is an option, it's gonna be picked by the other players. They are playing for money. 